Wheel of Fortune. Right now, time for the TV game show trivia question of the day. The great one, Jackie Gleason, hosted a game show back in 1961. It was titled, You're in the Picture. How long was this game show on the air? With the answer, ladies and gentlemen, here's Wink Martindale. Thank you, Gary. How long, you ask? Well, it was on one day. You see, Jackie didn't like what he saw, so he pulled the show and apologized to his audience. The development of a game show is a lengthy and a difficult process. There are many approaches, but one thing is certain. It's not as easy as it may seem. So come along with us as we take you from idea to air in the making of a TV game show. Nobody comes out of their mother's womb wanting to be a game show producer. I wanted to be Spielberg, Steven Spielberg, too. But if digging ditches is zero and being Spielberg is 100, I'm at 81, and I wish I got those kind of grades through college. Has Merrill Heater ever regretted being a game show producer? I'd say exactly 20 times, Mike. Why 20? Each time they've canceled one of my shows. <laughs> <laughs> it may not have the literary repute of a written novel, but nonetheless, it takes a lot of effort to do a game show. They're maligned by critics and loved by audiences. They're relatively cheap to make, but if successful, their earning potential can be unlimited. Nonetheless, the odds of a success on a network are long. We fund roughly 30 developments. Out of those 30, we'll make anywhere from four to six pilots. Out of those four to six pilots, depending on how successful we are currently on the air, one or maybe two will get on. Fourth level 30. The contestant is not the only person taking a chance on a TV game, just the most visible one. In the making of a game show, from the moment an idea is conceived through its moment of success or failure, everything and everyone is at risk. Will appear in the responses. You're the one in jeopardy. Constantly. Okay, folks, watch our applause lights, please. So what are the ingredients? Yes, you'll need a set. Uh, this sign, for example, the Hollywood Square sign, this is computerized. This costs $25,000, just that one piece. And yes, you'll need cameras, makeup, wardrobe, staff, a director. Oh, Chuck uh, Barris took out an ad many years ago, and he said, if you like taking shots, wouldn't you like to be John Dorsey? Then add a host for sure. Producers galore, contestants, and more. But it all starts and sometimes ends with the idea and the game itself. Somebody says, I got an idea for, for a premise, okay? And then everybody sits down, and they start pounding it and beating it up and, 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 and molding it, and that's where the ideas come from. There's an open door policy to anyone who has a good idea, but obviously it requires someone who has had some training in the area. It doesn't mean that anybody can walk in and say, I've got a great game show. The most important element for a successful game show is probably strong play along, a show that you look at and you are compelled to play the game. The first step in the making of a game show is the selling of a game show. This is called a pitch meeting. I'll play the part of a network executive Jerry Gilden is a game show producer in Los Angeles, and he's trying to sell me a new show of his. Jerry? Well, Wink, what I brought today was a show called Spellbound. From that idea, that tabletop demonstration, that meeting, we decide whether or not we want to proceed with the development. So the next step after that, of course, is then a pilot, which they could do a full-fledged set and actually do the show, and then they test it and test it. Test it. But in the world of game show syndication, where shows are sold to individual television stations, sometimes everything old is new again. In my case, this year, right now, we're working on a program called High Rollers that has already been a hit. Well, while this very elaborate set, the new High Rollers set, is being constructed in two different places in Los Angeles, the run-throughs for our show are going on at our office. The redevelopment of the show looked like this. A room, some props, working the kinks out, learning the game. And that, after a great deal of work, looks like this. The new pilot for High Rollers. It's with this one episode that the producers will attempt to organize a station lineup and sell the show. It's hard to duplicate the thrill you get when the, your very first idea is on the screen. I mean, that's, that's a turn-on. You hear people doing the things that you figured out were going to happen. And then there are the financial rewards. They can make the so-called stigma of working in the alleged bargain basement of television acceptable indeed. Stigma? No, my ego is too big for that. I really have never felt any stigma whatsoever. i got to tell you something. 
I look at sitcoms and I say, thank God I'm doing game shows. Hey, this is show business, not show art, so we're definitely in this for the money. We don't mind them looking down on us. We don't want the secret to get out. What a good business this really is. <laughs> <laughs> If you like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more and check out my Facebook page for other exciting content.